All right, so we're gonna do a uh, remote diagnostic today. I've obviously got one that's not working, one that's working just fine. I have two inverters on, on this uh, motor coach. So uh, first thing we would do is pull these two units out. Since this one works, they're both gonna have uh, a phone cable, basically. Our telephone line, it runs to both. That's how they get power. So I pulled both of these units and this unit and this unit run fine off this telephone cable. So this telephone cable is not working. So it could be the connector, or it could be the, um, could be a connector in on either end. It could be a cut wire, or it could be a bad uh, inverter uh, outlet. So we're gonna do a little diagnostic. And uh, the way we're gonna do that today is, uh, right now I've purchased two of these. They're uh, telephone wall plates. And I'm sure there's a, a proper tool for this. And what I've done is I've taken the two wall plates and I've taken the black and the yellow and moved them down so that they're um, shorting out. So I've got green and yellow and red and black. So I'm gonna do it on both ends and I'm gonna test continuity and see which one gives me continuity, which one doesn't. Let's see if I can figure out a bad line or a bad connection. So if it's not, then it'll be a bad uh, inverter outlet, remote outlet. Okay, so I'm out here at the inverter. There's two inverters. This is the one that's working. This is the one I'm having some trouble with. So here's my remote cable. It actually is tab remote. I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna plug it into here. And then we'll go back inside and test it. She's plugged in. This is the one that shorted out. So let's go back inside and see what happens. Right. So I pulled out the remote and I plugged in my other outlet. Of course, each one of these are individually. So what I'll do is I'll put my voltmeter on these two and check for continuity. And I'll my voltmeter on these two and check for continuity and we'll see what happens. All right, so for those of you that don't understand continuity, uh, basically if you've got a voltmeter, it'll have these little symbols right here. Symbol right there. And that's gonna be your continuity. So when I move it to this, when the two ends connect and I've got a completed circuit, I get a tone. So that's what I'm hoping to hear that lets me know that all of my circuits are good. All right, so before I um, turn the inverter back on now that we've replaced the fuse, it says what I read in the manual is to turn the 50 amp off, and let it sit for a little bit, and I'm gonna turn the battery on, run it through the fuse, and then once it gets initialized, I'll turn the 50 amp back on. Let's see how that works. So now I'm back at the inverters. And this one goes to my, this my battery cut off. And this is the top one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the power back on so the batteries, I give the power to the inverter. I'll give it a minute, I'm gonna hit the button. And we've got power to the inverter. So now it's coming back on. And it's blinking. Of course, the problem I've got is my remote's not working. So we'll turn this one on too. It's blinking. It goes blinking, so everything's working, seems to be working fine. All right, so we went outside, did the hard reset, come back inside. Of course, we're off of the 50 amp, so we got no power service. This is running purely off the batteries. And the hard reset to the inverter has brought back the um, remote. So both remotes are now working. So if you have that trouble, give it a try. It's a quick and easy fix. Of course, if it's a bad line or a bad connector, we didn't go into that, but uh, maybe for another day. Hopefully not.